Buddies, 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 buddies. Hey, it's concert, buddy. This video, I'm gonna share some of my finds I picked up in September 2022. Uh, these are unrelated to my pickups at the Austin Record Show. These are things I got through just regular purchases, online, etc. So, curious what I picked up in September. Cue that lever, stick around, let's get into it. Thank you for sticking around, buddies. So, September 2022, outside of the Austin Record Show, which I talk about in this video here, I did pick up some records to add to the collection through some pre-orders, some word of mouth FOMO set in on a couple titles I was a little uh, reluctant to get, mainly because I probably had another version of it. And then some just kind of drop in your lap, which I'm sure happens to you guys as well if you read the forums or Reddit or whatever. Things are brought to your attention that you didn't know about. And the first thing I'm going to talk about was exactly that. A lot of you know I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, the Midwest, and so there's some music now from when I was coming up that's actually getting pressed on vinyl, which I find is very interesting, and there's a morbid curiosity to that. And one of those bands that uh, pressed some of their stuff on wax before, but now there's a reissue campaign going on, is from a ska band called MU330. And it wasn't a band that when I was in high school and college, I knew about actively, I knew about them passively, but ska was kind of hit or miss for me. Obviously ska, you know, you got some of the big bands in that genre, Sublime, No Doubt, whatever. But in St. Louis, MU330 was a, a pretty strong band. I'm sure they had a, at least a presence in the Midwest. So now that I'm a little bit older, <laughs> a little bit longer in the tooth, I was surprised to find, I think it was on Reddit, vinyl releases that they were reissuing at least part of the MU330 catalog. And so, and of course, sucker for uh, novelty and nostalgia, but also a sucker for color variants, uh, I picked up the albums that just came out. Um, just to kind of walk through them real quick, this is uh, Crab Rangoon on this double-toned, this, um, I guess, variant. And again, all these records were released previously on vinyl, but like I said, I knew of the band. Probably the main song I know is not on any of these releases I'm about to show you. Uh, it was called Who's Your Love, <laughs> which is, is just funny enough in the title. If you're from the area, you kind of know. Like Hoosier is obviously not as prevalent as in, say, Indiana, but Hoosier is kind of a tongue-in-cheek term around these parts anyway. So Crab Rangoon, uh, this one's called Ultra Panic. And it too, I think they just went for a split color vinyl, which is great. I have no problem with how that turned out. I did uh, put this one on. This one is called, I think it's a self-title. Gosh, it shows you what a big fan I am, right? But uh, this one, you can't really see it in the light, but this is kind of a marble treatment. But these sound pretty good. Um, I'm assuming back then, when these came out in the 90s, maybe early 2000s, again, same song, same dance. Wasn't probably mastered for vinyl, digital mastering. So I give the uh, the uh, the folks who are reissuing these a lot of credit for making them sound pretty good on vinyl. This one's called uh, Chumps on Parade. Great title. Uh, pretty pathetic and or scary clown on this one and then this was like a red marble treatment so um yeah mu330 i'm not going to say i'm going to be a completist and try to get their their full catalog on vinyl but i definitely want the album that has who's your love just because i think that's such a funny and terrific song so that's it for mu330 my first time on a jumbo jet <laughs> excuse me if you're like me and you like heavy metal, uh, I think there's a lot of anticipation for this new Megadeth album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. Um, I would call it a career resurgence the last couple years, but I will say Megadeth seems to be a little bit more mainstream than they were in the past, or at least when they're, I guess, again, for lack of a better word, more mainstream in the mid 90s when they had, uh, you know, Countdown to Extinction and Euthanasia and that sort of thing. So um, 
this album I previewed a little bit before it came out on streamers and it sounded, you know, quintessential Megadeth. I know Dave Ellison has had a unceremonious <laughs> departure from the band. I think he was, I think him and Dave were like the last two originals left. So it's pretty much Dave Mustaine's band, which, okay, it is what it is. Um, but this sounds terrific. It's that patented speed metal sound from Megadeth, um, thrash, really just a post like a lot of apocalyptic themes geopolitical kind of stuff that they do i mean and it's you know it's a really interesting album and interesting uh artwork on this album you always have that skull face cat from it now like they're doing on a lot of releases these days this is the standard i think actually this is the walmart version walmart had a color variant and i thought it was like one disc was blue one disc was um kind of turquoise but then they also had the deluxe version, which essentially is a black vinyl, but it came with this, uh, you know, insert that they conveniently made you believe was an actual uh, <laughs> different alternative cover. But when you open it up, all it turned out to be was this insert, which is fine. Looks like mine got a little cranky crank right there, which stinks, but... It is what it is. But anyway, good Megadeth album. If you're a fan of the band's earlier work, their uh, 90s and even 2000s stuff, cryptic writings and those type of albums, like this is a, uh, I wouldn't say a return to form. It's like they never left. So a good album worth checking out. Again. And again. And again. Forever. So I'm going to close this video with a, a record I'm sure a lot of people watching have picked up themselves. A uh, highly anticipated reissue, 30th anniversary of Alice in Chains' Dirt. Uh, this has been, it never got a proper U.S. release when it first came out. Again, 90s, most albums are digitally mastered, etc. I think there was a European pressing that first came out that if you read or watch other videos, kind of hit or miss reception to it uh, from a sound quality perspective. Then I think it was Music on Vinyl, I want to say 2009 Ballpark, uh, released it. And it sounded pretty good. Music on Vinyl does a really good job of reissuing albums digitally mastered and putting them to vinyl and so forth. So when this was announced, uh, a lot of excitement about what was ahead. Um, not a gatefold, single sleeve, two albums. Um, I will say they did a very good job of mastering this four vinyl this go around for the 30th anniversary. I was super bummed that I didn't hear about this in terms of the variants until it was too late. They released a orange only orange web store exclusive on the Alice and Change web store that sold out almost immediately. I think you could have got it if you wanted to buy like the $300 deluxe package with some trading cards. <laughs> bandanas and all that kind of shit but not for me uh, i think europe there was a european yellow variant wasn't really into that our friends at walmart also had to get in the variant cosplay and so they released a red one which i did pick up and that was the first one i ordered because they were the first ones that kind of had it on site it was kind of weird this got announced before it got announced formally it was on amazon already and it was on walmart already and so it was either sold out or pulled down or I don't know, it's kind of strange, but um, my copy, so like I said, I have the Walmart red variant, and then I also ended up getting the uh, traditional black uh, vinyl. Now, I will say this sounds very good, but a public service announcement, if you can find, and I don't know this is true, I'm still beta testing this, I need to find somebody who actually in real life, not YouTube life, not internet forums life, but somebody in real life who actually has uh, the MPO, the European pressing of this, I believe it was pressed maybe over in Germany or Italy. Um, it sounds like from what I'm reading online, the MPO pressing is the preferred quality pressing. Now this, I have the United pressing. United's down, I think in Nashville. And if you are a fervent collector of vinyl, you know that United quality is hit or miss. Now, while this sounds very good, it's mastered really well by the mastering engineers. My copy is not a flat pressing. It does have a little movement etc so does anyone out there have the mpo pressing you can comment below and let me know like what your findings have been i actually uh, originally wasn't going to get the black pressing but then i read this mpo versus united situation and i thought i knew where i could get an mpo 
copy because quite honestly, from the outside, there's no way to differentiate which pressings which. They had the same hype sticker, same artwork, same barcode even. But I'd read that some folks had bought their copy at Barnes and Noble and they had the MPO. Dun, 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 FOMO, internet, knucklehead, whatever, go to Barnes and Noble, buy a copy and it's the United Pressing. <laughs> so it just goes to show. Um, the internet is not undefeated for a reason. No, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. All that said, my United Pressing, it sounds good, but again, there is some play in the vinyl. I really wish these companies would put more focus on having a nice flat pressing. And it sounds like the MPO version is like that. So anybody out there have the MPO version, tell me what you think below. Um, I have some friends who have picked this up and I'm trying to <laughs> figure out if they have the MPO because I would it's kind of like the, the Coke or Pepsi challenge I'd like to really know which one's better and then maybe I'll get the MPO I don't know but first world problems folks so Allison Chains 30th anniversary dirt well worth picking up even if it's the questionably quality United Pressing and that's all she wrote for this video guys would love to hear what have you guys picked up in the month of September anything uh, that I missed or anything that was more exciting than these <laughs> tasty nugs, tell me in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys. I really do. Even if it's some, uh, some good old fashioned trolling and you know who you are. <laughs> All that said, buddies, if you get the chance, da, 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 just spin it. I'll see you next time. Well, 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 how the turntables well, we're out of time.